Hey everyone, this is Tim at jlminiatures.com. Right now I'm showing you the front box of the new Orc Stompa. I just got it in today. Um, I got one of the early ones so I could put it together and uh, show you guys, give you a little bit of a preview of uh, what to expect. Um, this miniature here um, is probably one of the better, or I should say one of the best um, uh, miniatures Games Workshop has produced uh, thus far. Um, right next to the uh, the uh, Lizardman Stegodon. Um, very nice. Uh, very little mold lines, I must say. Uh, putting it together was quite easy. Uh, the instruction booklet, um, as you can see right here, it's uh, several, several pages long. Um, definitely, um, the instructions should have been and could have been a lot better. Um, it shows you really good uh, picture detail, but it does not show you the part number like on the sprue where it says 29 glues to 30. Um, in the picture, it just shows the picture. It does not show um, which part is which, so you have to kind of uh, thumb through it and try to figure it out that way. It does go together pretty much A, B, C, D, but it would have been a lot better if they would actually put the numbers with the parts and put it on the direction so you could actually see how that all uh, falls into effect. You can see that there's uh, you know one through six kind of shows the the main body here um, putting the, the the rear the sides and then the front on along with the top the two kick plates and the uh, the bottom inside right here. I'm sorry if the camera's jerky it's uh, I'm using one of the little eyeball cams but you can see uh, this right here is just one of the the uh, feet um, this is the uh, the head, but as you can tell, it has you know directional arrows, but it doesn't have any part numbers. The sprues do have part numbers on them, so it's kind of nice. You might even want to take and go through some of the stuff, mark it down part number before you actually even uh, put the thing together. I had one of the uh, guys in uh, the club help me put uh, this together. Uh, it took two of us about two and a half to three hours. We kind of split it up and said, okay, you do the body, you do this, you do that. This right here, I'm going to kind of back out and give you a, a good view of it, um, is the uh, complete um, stompa here. This right here is the uh, the left arm. As you can see, it's a big, huge, huge gun. Um, it's got a multi-shot. Uh, it's got um, so many different... Um, rockets and everything else right there it's got gas propelled rockets uh, rocket with another adjuster um, the hoses um, I'll try to hold this a little bit better the hose right here this long hose actually goes inside and it's a um, it's more of an octagon style and then um, you don't need to pre-bend it everything fits exactly where it needs to uh, I have noticed on uh, games workshop um, some of it is kind of laxed on some of the the different models. This model went together perfect. You can see the smaller hoses right there. Um, you do not need to bend these. They are seriously just clip, clean, and glue into place. Um, like I said, the directions you have to really look to find out, you know, where this piece would go, where the handle goes for this. Um, this right here is the um, where the ammo goes in. And as you can see, right on the side here, this is one of the uh, the huge, huge um, uh, bullets for the guns. You can set it right in there, and then slides right into place. So you can see how huge this thing it really is. Um, this is the main body of the Stompa here. Um, they have little grot windows with uh, grots in there. Um, there's like four or five of them. There's different types of uh, weapons that they can put in, flamers and um, like heavy stub of bolter type things. Uh, on the back, you can see the uh, the stacks. You know the different. Um, this right here is more of a a lookout here. Um, one of the grots goes in here. You can see one of the grots. Try to get the little bit better angle. You see one of the grots hanging off one of the controllers. Uh, they give you 
a few extra parts not a whole lot when it comes to uh, doing a lot of the outside type stuff but um, with this I did make basically just a little catwalk type thing where they can climb up climb down um, one of the uh, doors to get in um, these uh, two pieces right here are actually where the the back um, foot is and you can actually it kinda kicks out a little bit it's kinda nice that way so it gives you a nice round um, appearance they did a very nice job putting this thing together um, you can see the shoulder right here they used a, like an eye beam um, this shoulder here is actually um, a, uh, like a plow type front right here which is kinda nice you can see the teeth underneath um, this right here is another piece I'm kinda going by this kinda quick but you can get an idea this is another gunner um, what it does is it sits up here on the shoulder just like so you can see the uh, this is the uh, orc head itself um, the orc head comes with two face plates so you can decide whether you want a more of a triangular face plate or more of a square face plate it comes with a big belly which I took and used a, a giant spotlight and I put that in the eye to give it more of a orky effect and then for the uh, the right arm this right here is a huge like buzzsaw very cool you can see that there's some heavy bolters or stubbers right there um, all the uh, the cables the wires um, they do take a while to put together but um, once they are together it's a very firm um, very strong bond they did a really nice job um, they didn't make it flimsy at all which was nice I'm going to take and put the arm on here so you can take a look the arms are adjustable so you can have it to where it's more of a down position or you can have it to where it's more of an up getting ready to attack position which is kinda nice um, these here they you can see the little shoulder piece um, what I would do is I'd probably take and uh, shave this off and put a big magnet in there and then that way you can actually take them off when you go do uh, games and stuff like that and uh, then that way you could also adjust if you have a heavy enough magnet same thing with the uh, the left arm here with the rockets and the big shooters and stuff that is a heavy arm there is a lot of plastic there um, as far as bits goes what's left is pretty much on the sprue right here along with the grots the grots uh, are being painted right now um, they give like a bunch of eye beams that are um, been cut out and pointed a few sharp looking objects um, some of the glyphs I'm trying to get a good picture here for you for some of the glyphs which they did a really nice job on that um, you can see some of the window pieces right there those are for the uh, the window grots down here um, it's kind of funny you can just see the pretty much the the little uh, nose is poking out and you know it's kind of a neat little thing you can also enclose them if you don't want to have it you can have it more enclosed type of um, stompa they don't give you uh, different options uh, for the stompa as of arms and lifted droppas and stuff like that but um, with the conversions and stuff like that that you can do with the bits you can definitely come up with uh, your own unique idea and take on this uh, this is Tim from JNL Miniatures I uh, just wanted to um, show you the new stompa I'm gonna take and try to get some more uh, um, painting and priming done on this and hopefully have it ready in the next few weeks for you to take a look at. Um, if you have any questions please uh, email me at t-i-m-m-a-c-c-o-w-a-n at yahoo.com or get a hold of me at jlminiatures.com my email address is on there also. Um, if you would uh, please leave a comment on here I'd like to hear uh, your comments and uh, post anything you'd like. Thank you very much for your time.